guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the sixth annual Doris Bergman Emmy Style Lounge and Party at Fig and Olive in West Hollywood. So, let's talk about it. All right. Um, we all set? Okay. How are you? I'm excellent, thank you. Awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing well as well, thank you. Well, what brings you out to the gifting suite today? Uh, I was just, I don't know, it was sort of a surprise. I just got uh, invited through uh, a publicist friend that I know, and, and she checked in and got me on a few of these lists. So I'm having my little Hollywood experience. Nice, so it's, yeah, been it's fun. It's fun to show up at these places and get tons of free stuff, and then you get to go. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, uh, yeah. I it's, uh, yeah, usually I spend all my time uh, at my desk, you know, writing, so it's good to, yeah. to cool. do some fun stuff. Yeah. How are you feeling after all of the success of uh, Straight Outta Compton? I feel great. I mean, I think it's winding down now, so it's, I can sort of catch my breath, but it was definitely a pretty crazy ride. I don't think we, anyone knew that it would be as big as it, as it has say, been. Yeah, and like, when, when the collaboration was happening and when it was going on, did you, I mean, were you kind of like, this is going to be like an amazing film or were you were you nervous were you were you I always knew that it would be really a cool film yeah. I thought maybe just sort of the audience would be more limited but I knew when we were working on it it was exciting and I always wanted to be a part of it and I love that music you know since yeah. I was in high school and and so I think we knew that we were working on something special but just yeah. the fact that it struck a chord and, and found an even wider audience yeah. and people's grandparents are going to see it and like unexpected audiences is really yeah. really gratifying and, That's so cool. and awesome was it, I mean, since you were a fan of NWA, I mean, was it crazy, like, having, like, Ice Cube and, and Dre and everybody, yeah. like, on the set <laughs> every day? Like, oh, yeah, or even just when I was writing it, before I wrote it, I, I interviewed them and, and met them, and we spent yeah. time together kind of figuring it out, and, oh, yeah, I mean, I was definitely pretty starstruck at first, but, you know, I got into it. Everyone's just sort of wanted to come together and, and make the best possible movie, and yeah. as much detail and emotion and... Yeah, well, get out of it. Say, it's got to be so difficult because, yeah, like a lot of the people are still alive, and you're, you're, you know, you're writing about people who are living and they lived this, and they can tell you exactly. And then, you know, like Easy E is not, you know, right. around to kind of, you know, say yes or no or put the, you know, put the okay on on certain things. Yeah. And there's five members of NWA, and it's like giving everybody like, you know, some some time. Like, how difficult is that to write? It it's was, like five stories, it's not five stories, but I mean, it's five people. Yeah, it was definitely challenging. I think we had to work on it even after I'd written a first draft. Sort of a lot of work with the guys to make sure it was balanced and yeah. that everyone kind of got their fair shake. Yeah. And, you know, and Easy definitely, he was, we had more freedom with him because he's you no know, longer with us. But his widow, Tamika, was still very much involved. She was a producer and she was involved with the script as well. But, yeah, I mean, I think it ultimately worked out as far as being able to tell all their stories but it was definitely challenging to find the right balance and, and structure for the whole thing well i think it worked out because i loved the movie i thought it was amazing Thank so you. Yes. is it true do you know anything about the whole like they're making a tupac snoop movie yeah i mean there's definitely like i've been reading in the last month i heard they're gonna do a like an east coast like a def jam movie i was reading and I know there's other projects in development. I don't know for sure whether there's an official sequel to this one with Universal, but I I wouldn't be surprised. Would you get involved in that? If they would have me, I would I would I would love to. But that's those decisions aren't aren't up to me. But obviously, yeah, I I love telling these guys stories, and I would I would certainly you know do it. Very cool. If it well, happened. It's, yeah, it's really nice talking with you. And, you uh, and good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit thumbs up if you like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and drop a comment with what you're doing Emmy Sunday.